Hello everybody, hope you're well. My name is Reza and in these sessions I'm going to talk about the hamstring muscle group. This large muscle group is located on the back of our upper leg and is contained of three major muscles, which is this one called semitendinosus. This one is bicep femoris, the long head, and this is semimembranosus and this is the biceps femoris short head. So three of them, uh, you can say, so there are actually four muscles, which uh, three of them are going all the way up to this called skill tuberosity, and it's on the hip joint, as you see here, semitendinosus, bicep femoris long head, and semimembranosus all go up to this place, which is on the bottom of hip joint. And they all go down the, to the lower section of our leg. So the semitendinosus and semimembranosus, they go down and attach to the tibia bone and the bicep femoris long head and the short head go down to fibula bone. So what I do is actually all these four muscles they are helping the knee to flex. So knee flexion is the major functionality of the hamstring group. But the other functionality of them, because they pass the hip joint, is hip extension. And if you have a fixed tie, they also helping the movement of back extension. So back extension with the tie fixed. Otherwise, knee flexion and hip extension is the major functionality of the hamstring. On the semimembranosus and semitendinosus, they also do the knee internal rotation, but the uh, bicep femoris does the knee external rotation. Uh, so pretty much I can say they're almost common in the movement of knee flexion, but they, have, they all accept the short head of the biceps femoris, which is attached to the femur bone. The femur is the big bone on the upper thigh, and the rest, as I've said, they're attached to uh, scale tuberosity. That's why this tree ahead of the hamstring group, they do hip extension and also back extension on the fixed thigh. Only bicep femoris with the short head doesn't do this functionality and it, this one does only knee flexion. So on the exercises such as deadlift, which we have hip extension, you can see the hamstring is one of the target muscle group beside the gluteus maximus which i'm going to talk about them on the future videos but on the exercises like leg curl uh, seated one or lying down or single leg curl exercise all four muscles are involved in these movements so they are the four muscles as i mentioned of the hamstring muscle group this is the one that starts from this part of the tibia, goes all the way up to the scale tuberosity. This is called semitendinosis. This is the one that is around the same area, all the way up again here, semimembranosis. This is the one that is from the fibula, which is the other bone all the way up to the ischial tuberosity called 
bicep femoris long head and this is the one as you see here around the same place all the way up to the femur bone this is the femur the big bone of our upper thigh so all these four they helping the knee to be flexed but only these three because they attach to this bone they only can do not only can do knee flexion they also do uh, the hip extension but this only can do because it just passed one joint can do knee flexion but the bicep femoris long head semi membranosis and semi tendinosis they can do hip extension beside the gluteus maximus regarding the functionality of the hamstring groups i'm going to show you the movements that this muscle group make this is the first one which is the knee flexion so knee flexion is the major movement of the hamstring group which is this one So if you've seen the equipment uh, like leg curl, which you may lie down and do it, or you may do the seated one or the single leg curl, this is what the hamstring does. So this is called knee flexion. The other one is the hip extension. So this is the hip extension movement. And the other one is back extension if your thighs are fixed. So if you don't move your thigh, this is the knee extension. This is the um, back extension. So these are the three major movements of the hamstring. On the exercises like deadlifts or the leg curls, we usually use the uh, hamstring as a major or target muscles. There are other muscles like a gluteus maximus, which I'm going to mention them in the future videos, also works as the hip extensors beside the uh, hamstring group, like on the deadlift exercise when we do, uh, for example, this movement. This is also the gluteus maximus which helped the hamstring group. Hope this uh, video you know, was uh, useful for you and good luck.